Say that again? I don't know if I can, actually. <laughs> That's right, it's time for Credit Cab, brought to you by Atlantic Credit Unions. It's the financial trivia game sensation where unsuspecting passengers will leave with a little bit more info in their brains and hopefully a little extra cash in their wallets. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Credit Cab. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Of course. Tell me your names. I'm Emma. I'm Cherise. I'm Alexa. Nice to meet you. How do y'all know each other? We all go to school. <laughs> you all go to school yes. together. Okay. So where am I taking y'all? Well, actually, I have a class at Dal, so do you think you could drop me off? I can definitely do that. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be dropping you off a class with some extra cash. Oh. I would love that. <laughs> okay. Let me explain how this works, okay? So this is the credit cap. Okay. I'm going to ask you five questions. They're each worth $20. If you get all five of them correct, I'm actually going to give you an extra hundred dollars. So that means you're playing for two hundred dollars. And I want to introduce you to our special guest back there. This is our Atlantic Credit Union expert, Rasha. <laughs> Hello. She can be your phone a friend for only one of the questions, but I can tell you she knows the answer to everything. Okay. <laughs> I really hope the credit card class I took in high school will come in handy. I, I also really hope it helps. <laughs> Just in getting to know you, where is your favorite way to splurge that extra cash? Mine is probably takeout food. Just the Uber situation. It's not good. <laughs> Bougie restaurant. Yes, I need them. I'm also a foodie, so that's where my extra cash also goes. All right, are you ready? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Question number one. A fixed mortgage rate changes every five years True or false? Mm -hmm. you, you have a house. Well, I, <laughs> I do. Fixed? Fixed mortgage I would say yes, but there are other options. Uh, yeah, so maybe no? If it's fixed, then it doesn't change. I'm not making the vote for everyone, but I personally think it doesn't. So false. But I'm not making the choice for everyone. I think you're right. Yeah, we'll go with you. Well, I'm going to look for some answers in your eyeballs. Uh, no, she said don't look okay. at you. Uh, yeah. There's no answers. Okay, we're going okay. with. She knows what we're going she's with, doing. We're going we're with false. False. Correct. Yay! Yay! Oh my god, just a guess. Okay. High five, yeah. Okay. It does go for longer than five years, but what you were referring to is a term. There's okay. always a five-year term, but yes. then it's no longer locked in. It basically opens up after five years, so you have the option to turn it into a variable rate or keep the, that same fixed rate for another five years. Oh. Yeah. Check us out. We're just like learning things. I love this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we've got okay. 20 bucks in the bank right now. Oh okay. We're playing for 40. Okay. What is the average age of Canadians that put money into RRSPs? Is it A, 21 years old, B, 25 years old, or C, my age, 32 years old? I would say 32. I would say next year I'm 20. If I'm supposed to do it next year, then I, 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 that's not a good thing. So. <laughs> and most people are in school until at least 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. loans, student and loans take a so while. So I would say 32. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's 32. Stuff. I love the confidence. You're correct. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact, I have not put any money in terrorists. <laughs> Me Just either. Throw Rasha, needs Rasha I know. Needs okay, I know. <laughs> All right, we've got 40 bucks in the bank. Oh, Question good. number three. True or false, credit unions were the first financial institution to lend money to women under their own names. Yes. I think so. Yep. Okay. We're going that would be good. We're confident with that one. We're going yes. with true? True. Yeah. True. Yes. Correct. Ah! Okay. Okay, good. We've got 60 bucks in the bank. We're going for $80 right now. Okay. We still have a lifeline. Rasha's still back there. Yeah. Okay. The average Canadian's credit score is between A, 650 to 725, B, 300 to 574, or C, 736 to 900. 
I would say it's the lowest. I guess because like but if it's average. Yeah, yeah. I would, then you wanna, I would go with the middle. Yeah. Too high. I or feel too like low. okay. We're going with the going middle. With going yep. with A. A. Between six fifty and seven twenty five. Locking that in. Lock it in. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. Yes. Yes. Guys, oh my god, I was wrong. That's like a fancy meal again. <laughs> okay, so we've got eighty bucks. We're wow. playing now for your hundred dollar question, but we're also technically playing for two hundred dollars here. Oh. And Rasha is still back there for yeah. you. Okay. Are we ready for our final question? Yeah. Yes. True or false? Working with a credit union advisor costs you money. I would say no. I mean, I think so. It's a service. But credit unions want to help people, so I feel like I would yeah. say no. I would say no. Okay, well, I I want to confer. Okay, we have her. Are we cashing in on our lifeline? We kind of cashing on our lifeline. All right. Okay, Rasha, you would be not correct. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Rasha, you would not cost you a penny. So she said no? That's crazy. Okay, so we should say no. No. Okay, so false. False. That's your answer? That's all right. That's all right. You are $200 richer. Wait, is this that is yours! Ah! Yeah.